Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to this week's Mixed Media Tutorial with me Lisa Taggart. This one's called Ice Song and today's project we're going to have a look at how to create reflections, stamping techniques to recede background images when creating a scene and blending mixed media materials. So if you're interested in that, let's first of all look at the materials we're using today. First of all, we're using Multifarious Smooth Card. It's a great mixed media card. We're also using the medium size circle template from the Acetate template set. We've got elements in Denim Blue, Dark Denim, Russet Orange and Sundance. Also uh, Versafine Claire and Nocturne for the stamping. I've got some Pan Pastels in Ultramarine Blue Extra Dark, Titanium White, ultramarine blue uh, tint and finally turquoise but uh, use uh, blues and whites whatever you have also applicators for the pastels and masking fluid and a brush for the fluid I'm using my stencil brushes uh, to coordinate with the colors of ink I'm also using a couple of uh, pastel pencils a dark and a gray an ordinary pencil and a white gel pen for the stamps, uh, there's not too many this week, but we have a couple of trees, red pine small, small pine trees, I've selected one of those, Falco and Maca. So if you want to convert all of that into something that looks a little like this, just keep on watching. It's quite a large uh, picture today. We've got 11 by 6 inches, a piece of card. And I'm taking my circle template and first of all we're going to draw in the moon uh, and the top right hand side so in the top third of the card. Next we're going to roughly draw our areas of ice or snow so there's a ridge there at the start for one of the uh, wolves to stand uh, there's a second one at the side and then this little skinny one uh, around the halfway mark on the card. Something like that. Next we're going to take our masking fluid and we're going to fill all of those areas in. Now the moon, I'm only, go only going to uh, fill in two thirds of it because I want to blend the rest with the sky. And it's just a question of filling the other areas in and then leave to dry.
So I've taken my uh, pastel and turquoise and extra dark in the, the, uh, the blue and I've taken my applicator and I'm just going to uh, go around the edge of the ice to give it some dimension so it doesn't look flat and we achieve that by just essentially putting in a line uh, around the edge something like a little like that also blending it into the ink uh, I should say also that the ink uh, in the background is perfectly dry before we start this uh, pan pastel stage so that the pastels will mix nicely on top of the ink Now I'm taking my copy paper and this time I'm raising it about half an inch above that line because what I want to do is pop in the background paler trees off in the distance and they have a little bank of their own.
I'm adding some extra details here and I've just put the paper down slightly a tiny two millimeters as you can see just to create a tiny line between uh, the bank and the lake and I'm just taking my dark pastel pencil and this one is a sepia color but it's actually quite dark and it's almost black so if you had a, a black pastel pencil or a dark brown uh, it would work as well and I'm just popping in some rough um, marks into the lake as a reflection it's not a perfect reflection by any means it's just entirely made up and as you can see I'm also adding little spikes into the banks to create um, some more um, foliage texture and it's just fun adding little uh, lines extending out the reflection and uh, basically making it up as I go along. Um, I'm not too particular about a perfect reflection because the water of course distorts the shapes so as long as you uh, line up with the trees and do something um, similar um, it sort of works okay because your eye does the rest.
So there we are. I've also added a touch of white and carried on blending some, some white pastel on the backs of the uh, wolves. And I also added in some stars lightly around the moon with my white gel pen. Did that off camera. And uh, just fixed a few wee bits and pieces here and there. And that's the project complete. And I popped it onto black and white car just to frame it. I hope you enjoyed today's uh, project and it's given you some ideas for your own work. Uh, take very good care of yourselves until next time. But above all, get creating, be brave and enjoy the adventure. <laughs>